Blake and Kelly, this is Dolan, your favorite and maybe only trainer. <laughs> well, today we're going to talk about health and wellness. Now, health and wellness has many, many essential elements that you will need. First thing that this requires you to do and to have is faith. You gotta have faith. Without faith, you can't do anything. Now, without work, you can't do anything. So we have to combine faith and work. Without work, faith is dead. Okay? So, with that being said, I need for us to always, always be positive. Positive affirmation. Start with, when you're waking up in the morning, start with affirm, reaffirming yourself. Making yourself feel as if you are whatever it is that you want to be, whatever it is that you want to do, whoever it is that you want to be, who are you? That is what will determine what and how your manifestations in your life and your goals and your aspirations, how it will come about. So I encourage prayer, I encourage uh, positive affirmations uh, in your life and just talking to yourself. And um, just, just to be who it is that you're trying or you, who it is that you are, you have to know that we're all growing. We all have seasons. We all have different ways, uh, different journeys. So it's going to take, like I said from the beginning, it's going to take faith. You have to go. You have to go. And in the midst of it, you have to pray. You have to reaffirm yourself. Give yourself some reassurance. Say, this is who I am. This is who I want to be. This is what's going to happen. You know, uh, unfortunately, sometimes in life, there's a lot of obstacles that get thrown your way. We get the plenty of trials and tribulations along the way. It happens every single day, okay? But you must understand that in order to grow, in order to be better, we have to nurture, nourish ourselves. Nurture, nourish, kind of the same thing, okay? So you have to nurture yourself. As nurturing, you have to love yourself. You have to be kind to yourself. You have to talk to yourself and give yourself positive reinforce, reinforcing uh, elements to broaden, to strengthen, and to um, to let yourself know that it's a process. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to either expedite or I'm going to help catalyze that process. Okay? So, after, with, throughout the process, right, in that, in that phase of when you are we are going forward, okay? We're going forward in faith. As you're going forward in faith, you have all, have all these obstacles in a day, right? Okay. Oh, boom. Get up. Oh, you're not feeling so good. So what you going to do? You're going to say, you know what? No. I feel good. I feel great. Let's go. We're going to make it happen. I know I get it. During Corona time, people are scared. They want you to stay at home when, when, you, when you're not feeling good, when you got a simple headache. We done had headaches for years. Get over it. Get over it. You know if you have to stay in that bed. If God is telling you, if he, God is telling you to stay in that bed, then stay in that bed. 
Oh, trust me, if you gotta stay in that bed, you you won't be able to move. You if you gotta stay in that house, you won't be able to go nowhere. You know if you need to stay in that house, you need to stay in that bed, if you need to just relax and not go anywhere. But we were based to move, to move upon faith. Meaning, move in action. Without movement, there's nothing. First, you have to speak it. Speak it into existence. Have that faith. Speak that faith. Speak what you want. And you go after it. Okay? So now, we're in the working. Okay? We're in the working phase of things. Okay? Now, as we're working, right, in a day, our mindset, like I said, from the get-go, you never know what's going to hit. Oh, man, boom. Somebody hits you with this. Somebody hits you with this. Somebody, oh, you got to do this. You got to take care of that. You know, your, your, uh, your, your supervisor, your manager tells you, oh, you, you got to, no, you can't do it like that. Well, now it's a mindset. Now you have to start using a different mind with all this stuff. It's called improvising. We, we have to find out a different path sometimes, a different way of thinking. And sometimes a different way of thinking is the easiest thing that you can do. Because when that thought got in your head and you said, man, I can't do it now, right there. You said you can't do it now. What can't you do? What can't you do? Never say, my family already knows that you never say you can't do something. I'd rather you say you won't do something. It's your mindset. We have to change our mindset. It's the bridge. It is the bridge between our spiritual realm and the physical realm. The mind. This is the mind. This is the spirit. And this is the physical. Or you can say spirit, mind, physical, which is us. Okay? The mind is the bridge. Change your mind today. Change your mind, okay? Be positive. Know that you can do it. Like I said, I want you, I'd rather you say, I won't do these push-ups, Dory. No, I will not do these push-ups today. I refuse. I respect that. You respect that when somebody says, I won't, then when they're wishy-washy, when they're in between, when they, or, or when they say, I, I, I can't do it. Knowing that you know that they can, but they told you, no, they won't do it. I'm like, well, okay. You, you got your mind made up. That's a beautiful thing, when your mind is made up. Being stuck in the middle is not good. Okay, you want to be on one side of the fence or the other. Okay, you can't get nowhere. Riding the fence, okay? What they say, riding the pine. You know, when you're, when you're um, in the game for all the athletes, uh, that, that, that notice when riding the pine. You can, go, you can go ride that pine. You can't do nothing when you're off the field. You got to be in the game. There has to be a goal, an objective, and you have to take action. You can't take action when you're not in the game. Okay? Yeah, you can, you can be a great coach. You can coach, but even coaches take action. We have to take action. Okay, so go about it. Be positive in your mind and thinking so that your actions can follow that positive thinking. Because when I say that, hey, I'm gonna have a bad day, or I'm gonna get, uh, 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 oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm getting sick. How about, oh, I'm getting better, you know, or I'm getting stronger, or no, I'm gonna be healthier today. No, I'm not going. I'm not going to pick up those those chips. Instead of picking up those chips, I'm going to drink more water. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have some chips. I'm gonna have a smaller bag of chips. But also, I'm gonna have some water beside me so I don't overindulge on the chips. It's a it's a mindset. It's a mindset. We gotta do better. Just do better. Change your mind. Change your mind. And I promise you, nothing but positivity will come about in your life. 
So as we're changing our mind, this is the bridge, okay? We're taking a walk of faith, okay? Onto the bridge, on the bridge. Mind, man. My mind, man, whoo! Got all kinds of things today coming out of my mind, right? We positive, we positive, we fighting, we fighting, we fighting. Positive thinking, positive thinking. Oh, God, you're up, you miss me, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, you miss me, up, 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 up. But how about I leave negative thoughts? Okay? So, as we Muhammad Ali, as we floating through life, I'm going to say, you got to float. Sometimes you just got to stop being so tight. Just, just move a little bit, dance a little bit. Just stop being so, just like you can't do and try certain things and just try to do things differently than what you did yesterday. Even if that was good what you did yesterday guess what we're trying to do now we're trying to improve we're trying to increase we're trying to get better we're trying to get more you don't ever want to stay the same who wants to stay the same my coach Al Hughes y'all know me Clayton County coach Al Hughes always said you either get better or you get worse you never stay the same and the older I get at 33 years old I understand what he means now there are days when I know that I got worse. I didn't stay the same. I didn't know I got worse. So guess what? Now we got to put in more work to what? Get better today. Like when you're on the field or when you're at work and you did complete the job or the task that was at hand or that was given to you. You weren't consistent. Consistency is huge. Diligence and persistence is huge during this bridge, during your mindset. You have to be consistently, positively thinking, okay? You have to. And guess what? You're going to fail. And guess what? If you don't fail, you don't prosper. Meaning, you're going to take an L. But I always say this. The L that you take is the lesson that you have learned. We don't lose. We don't lose. It is a lesson you have learned. Change that L. And I've seen on, on Instagram, Instagram can be positive. So positive. Social media can be so positive. Keep that positive. Go positive on Instagram, on the social media. Let's, if we're going to stay on social media for 30 minutes, let's go to the positive side of social media, okay? But I saw a gentleman, I believe he, uh, he owns the Loft, uh, the Loft Athletic Club. Uh, another one of my brothers worked there, Chris. Uh, he's, he's, uh, they're both doing amazing in the industry. I'm so proud of both of these guys. But uh, the owner, I can't remember his name, of the Loft, or he is part owner of the Loft Athletic Club. And uh, he said, um, take the L out of learn. After you learn, after you learn, guess what? You earned. Man, that blessed me so much. I said, man, you got to learn before you earn. Well, of course you do, Dorian. Of course you do. But that's that's something that's not top. It's the mindset. It's the thinking. Yes, you have to learn. But guess what? In that learning, you're earning. So yes, I gotta. Man, I, yeah, I gotta write that paper. Oh, I gotta do this work. I gotta. Man, I gotta. I gotta. Put, I gotta put push ups in every day. I gotta put these sit ups in every day. I gotta drink this water every single day. Okay. So in your mind, you are going, you are going, you are going, you're fighting, you're, you're getting tested. I mean, your boss comes up to you, uh, you with, with a whole slab of food at, for the holiday, okay? Yeah, right, exactly. Valentine's Day coming up. We all know how Valentine's Day is, okay? But don't let one day 
one simple day can you can you can wipe out a whole I'm gonna say year, you know, um, but you can wipe out a good bit of working out a, a, a good bit of your success. You can wipe out a good bit of your success, your uh, things that you have worked on in one day. It only takes one turn, doesn't it? Y'all heard that before. It only takes one turn to mess up some things, to screw it, to screw some things up. And now you have to, guess what? You got to work hard to get back right. But guess what? It's okay. Like I said, we learn. When you learn from the lesson, then you can grow. Then you can earn. So now, guess what? You earn going to the next level. So you stepped your game up. You said, oh, I'm done with that. That's in the past. I aced that. Done with that. I'm going to I'm going to the sixth grade. Like my dog. Hey, my dog Ray, she, she moved, she, she shouldn't be in the sixth grade. Not saying she failed, but what I'm saying is she's in the fifth grade now. She's going to the sixth grade. So intelligent. That that girl is so intelligent. But in order to advance, and sometimes you can go past, go beyond that next level. Okay, you got favor, but then you got knowledge and you got wisdom. A lot of people don't listen. A lot of times we don't listen to what we are taught and then we don't test it. So yes, listening to everything that comes to you, that's, that's a bit extreme. That's a, that can become a bit overwhelming. But when you hear it, put it to the test. Okay, find out, first of all, don't just put everything to the test the way that you test everything. Because some things, you can really screw some things up if you test it, okay, the wrong way. So figure out how to test it. Ask, ask people, you know, ask people who um, are in the industry or who have went through what it is that you're going through, okay? Like I'm learning today, when I'm talking, I'm talking to y'all, I said, man, I need to ask more people. You know, change your, we gotta change our mindsets. Okay, through your journey, let's ask and find out how to go about things, hey, or, or what happened when you did this, or my next, leading up to this, pay attention to your body, okay? I, I cannot, I cannot stress this enough, okay? You do, we put it in all the work, okay? We put in all the work. At work, whatever it is that we're doing, okay? When we go to the gym, when we go outside, when we're doing, we, we put this work in and we switch. We change our mindset the wrong way, okay? And guess what we do? We go home. We sit down, we lay down on the couch. We not up. We're not a movie. You know, this I know there's something to do at the house that you can be moving, okay? Uh, later on, I'm going to show you guys some exercises, some functional exercises that you can do at the house. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to go anywhere during these times in order to get to get some work done or to work your body to exercise and to produce good energy in your body. You don't have to go anywhere. I'm going to show you, okay? But my point in saying this is that even when you leave where it is that you got, when you finished working, the work never stops. It never stops. Don't be hard on yourself. When you go to the refrigerator and you work, you put in that work, you deserve to eat something. You deserve to eat something good. It's okay. I went through a process in my life, a time in my life where I said, man, I am, I'm hungry, I'm tired. I went through, I went through a process to where I said, I have to eat and stay strict. But I can't do that, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. I can't. I'm talking about people around me, they were just, just lively and just happy and but see on the inside. Now they didn't they didn't see as much. I'm, I'm a very lively 
an energetic, fun person most of the time. But only you can tell your real energy. So, you know, I'm going around, you know, this long period of time, and I'm just, I'm lonely. Now, I'm loneliness. I'm lonely eating strictly fruits, strictly vegetables, or certain times of the day. Um, or, or I feel like, oh, man, if they see me eating this, well, they're going to get on me Especially me being a trainer. Oh, they're looking at me. They're looking at me. God is looking at you every day. So stop worrying about what everybody else is thinking. Okay? And enjoy life. But, like I said, when you enjoy life, there's good and there's bad. Some things in life, you know what? I take that back. Everything was created for good. But we use it for bad sometimes. Like, like the internet, social media. Okay? Like the internet, we use the internet for sometimes the wrong reason. Okay? You got scammers all over the internet. You got scammers all in your phone. Phones are good. Phones are a great source of communication. But it can be used a negative too, right? Use your body for the right reasons, okay? You can eat, you can eat this chicken, but if you eat, sit down and have three pieces of chicken, first of all, knowing that you're trying to lose weight, but you're eating three pieces of chicken and, and a whole thing of pasta, you, you're trying to gain weight, okay? You want to you, we, we have to be of good to our body okay we have to be of good okay of good service to your temple it's, it's, it's your house it's your home take care of your home please clean it out do some fasting fasting do some uh, detoxing with uh, Detoxify, okay? Detoxing, de detoxing your body, okay? Well, same thing I said earlier, you gotta detox your mind too. You gotta detox your mind first in order to detox your body. You gotta be positive, okay? Detox your mind, detox your body. These are methods of fasting, okay? Go without something or start doing something different. You can still, you can add stuff when you're fasting, okay? So, when, you, when you're fasting, make sure that you don't go about it as if you hate it. But you have to be positive along that fast. When you put something down, when you put the, uh, the chips down, when you put the cookies down, the extra sweets, you know, you have to change your mindset in a mess because what's going to happen is that you're gonna, you may relapse. Because you get, you, you get, oh no, I, I can't do it, I can't. No, immediately you have to run to something that will save your body. Since we're talking about your temple, you have to do something else that'll change your mind, that'll, that'll help you to recreate enjoyment in this process. So as you are recreating, Okay, this whole process and, and your mindset and going about trying to do better and feel better in your life and look better. Okay, we all want to look better. But I always say this, you want to do better, okay, then you can feel better, okay. When you feel better, then you look better, okay. Do better, feel better. Or you can say, be better, feel better, look better. Okay, stop worrying about how you look and stop worrying about first what you're doing first, what kind of energy you're putting out there. And then that's when you can feel good about yourself. And then you can go to the gym. Then you can be better because you already did something and you feel good. Okay, your energy's up. You don't want to go to the gym dragging or else you ain't going to have a good workout.
or else you're gonna sit in the car and you're gonna think about going to the gym, going, uh, going around the track, or going to the park, and then you're not gonna go. I've done it before. I'm an old trainer. I, I said, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm third round. No, not today. I'm about to go home. I'm about to eat something that I shouldn't be eating, doing something that I shouldn't be doing, go drink. I don't drink no more. I don't smoke no more. Drinking, smoking, that's out the game. I'm, I'm telling y'all that right now. Y'all can say I'm judging y'all, but what? Drinking and smoking, cut it. Cut it out, okay? That is horrible for your body, okay? All right? Any kind, of, any kind of smoking, any kind, okay? Don't get me started on that, okay? So check this out. There's keto diet, there's vegan diet, and there's a veget vegetarian uh, diet. Um, and there's intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is when you go for a certain amount of time without eating or eating certain foods at this certain time, okay? Uh, you space you space it out. Okay, I'm gonna go eight hours with not eating, or I'm gonna go eight hours with just drinking water. I'm gonna go eight hours with just drinking uh, sh uh, shakes um, or smoothies. Uh, it's that intimate fasting, okay, or whatever that food is that you're taking out or adding in. Okay, it's windows of diets that you're eating or that, that you're not eating. Okay, that's intimate fasting. Okay. Then you have the keto diet where you have much protein. You have you consume more protein than your carbs. Okay, so if you're trying to build muscle, which is a lot better than trying to thinking that take away your fat that you like you have to stop eating right? or stop eating protein. No, you still, protein, that is your main source. Your protein is what? Those are your building blocks. It's called them building blocks, okay? But guess what? In order to build, you gotta have some fuel, right? You gotta have energy to build. When you build a house, you gotta have energy to build that house, right? So you have to have a certain amount of carbs in you. But you go, uh, let's say in the morning, you have your carbs, because uh, you gotta work in that. You have your carbs, but after that, at night, you or at lunch or at, uh, at night, you take take away the carbs, okay? But that is a keto diet where you have more protein and more fruits and vegetables, okay? And your vegan is strictly fruits and vegetables, no kind of animal, no bumblebee with a little honey dripping, okay? A little milk and honey, yeah, we all know about the lady milk and honey. That's vegan, real veganism is eating no animal product, okay? And it's great. I did it for seven months of my life and it was great. A whole spiritual, mental, and physical cleanse. It's amazing. You should try it. Anytime you fast, it should not just be about your physical. It should always be about your spirit, your mind, and your body, okay? It all follows, okay? When your spirit and your mind goes, your body will follow, okay? I say this, okay, to say that now, what it is is that you have to, when your body falls, right, okay, now we get into the fitness part of things, right, and the movement. I always say, you know, it's your, your, your foundation is your spirit, right? Your mind is your bridge, right? Then your bridge, I say, your bridge to your heart, right? Your bridge, or I should say, Take that back. Your bridge to your, the food, right? Which is the physical side of things, which which you can see the body, which feeds and fuels your body, right? Okay, so now we're going into the physical side, the food, the mind, the spirit foundation, and which leads to the bridge, your mind going to your body, your physicalness, what you do throughout the day, okay? So what are you eating, okay? Next is what kind of activity are you putting in? What kind of work are you putting in each and every day of your life, okay? So now it's your heart. Now your heart is your physical side, right? You can grasp, you have to grasp your heart, right? You can take it out of your chest, right? Okay, 
So that's a lot of work, okay? So we, what we're trying to do is we're trying to put in the work. What you put in, you have to put out. So if you put in a lot of calories, a lot of food, you're going to have to take that out. You're going to have to put in a lot of work. Let's work. If you put in, you eat all that food, you got a lot of energy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, okay? That's a lot of, that's, uh, that is how a lot of diabetes and um, high blood pressure and high cholesterol and um, uh, obesity because we don't move enough. We don't work enough, okay? Let's get back to working. Let's work this land, baby. This is ours, okay? Let's work, let's work, let's work, okay? Breathing, breathing is something that we don't do enough of, okay? When you breathe, you can achieve. When you breathe, you can actually live, okay? Without breathing, guess what? You die. Please breathe. Take your breaths. Wusa. We all know about that, okay? Please breathe, okay? When you're at work, remain standing. Sometimes, I get it. We want to sit down and get up off our feet, but you have to sometimes, you have to get up. You have to get up or the knees get tight. A lot of truckers, they have uh, bad knees, they have tight knees, they backs. You know, you gotta, we were not meant to sit down our whole life. We meant to stand, okay? And when you do, Stand, stand upright. Great posture. When you sit down, have good posture. Stop slouching, you know. Stop doing all that, okay? Physical habits that we tend to miss. We want to be cool, I get it, I get it. But, come on, have good posture. Stand up strong and, 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 and bold, you know, and, and, and know who you are, okay? Stop slouching on the job. Stop slouching on your work, okay? Let's get something done, okay? And when I say gut check, it starts in your gut, in your stomach. Your digestive system starts in your stomach area. Anyway, you can't have a nice body without taking care of it, feeding it the right thing. So like I said earlier, going back, retrospect, stop going towards the processed food, okay? The, the, the bad food. If you can't pronounce it, try not to get it. I get it. You know, we got kids who want to, you know, the fast food, the fast food and the restaurants and stuff, but we have got to stop the sodas, okay? The high caffeine, the high sugars, uh, the actual sugar part, okay? Tr uh, go, try to go to more towards a guy band, um, they got monk fruit now, uh, honey, but honey, even too much honey is bad for you. So I like doing agave. Agave is good. If you want to stick to sugar, okay, cool, but it's acidic. But hey, we'll talk about that another time when we we'll break some of this stuff down, okay? So with that being said, like I said, it's a gut check. It's gut check. It's gut check time. And now it's time to work it out, okay? Now let's do it. I'm going to bring y'all something that y'all will always be able to do, no matter where you at, okay? Check this out.